I'm here in the porch of the old church in Balaf on a rather atmospheric evening, but at least it's light. If it was April the 25th and some years ago, I might have been here sometime between 11 at night and 1 in the morning. And the reason for that was that people believed that people's souls left their body that night and came to the graveyard where they would be buried in the following year. So people came to see the wraiths of people that might die in the next year. Not a custom that's just relating to the Isle of Man. You find it in all sorts of parts of Britain as well. As soon as midnight struck on St Mark's Eve, it was a custom to put down some chaff on the floor of the house and to look at it the next morning. And if there was a footprint in it which was facing into the house, that meant there'd be a birth in the house. But if the footprint was facing outwards, there would be a death in the family. There were all sorts of similar events taking place at Holland Tide, Midsummer Eve. There were also something called corpse lights, which are rather sinister and often related to shipwrecks. And of course, there were many shipwrecks off the coast here. And people were able to tell any survivors how many men had died on the boat because they could see those lights moving towards the church. And another strange thing too, which people believed in and was reported as late as 1835, were funeral processions making their way to the church. Someone would find themselves surrounded by a party of mourners. And when they got to the church gates, the procession would just disappear. And that too was supposed to be an omen of someone's death in the following year. So we're here in the porch in daylight. Just think what it might have been like at midnight on St Mark's Eve in the dark.